Hello there. Welcome to this channel. Behind me is the Zambian Freedom Statue. This is a statue that was established in 1974 by uh, then I think the president Kenneth Kaunda. And this was to mark like the freedom from the colonialists. That's why you have those shackles being broken down by the statue be right behind me. But uh, if you ask any local here uh, what it means, they'll tell you there is a guy called Zanko Mpundu. Zanko Mpundu. Who, the guys will tell you around here that he was given a choice after being imprisoned by the colonialists. He was given a choice either to break the shackles or to get shot. And from the statue, you can tell he broke those shackles. So join me, I'm in Lusaka, Zambia, as I get to explore this city alone. Actually, this is the first country and city that I explore alone. I don't have any guide or anyone to take me around. But I know that Zambians speak English very well. Yes, they speak uh, Nyenje and uh, also Femba. Hello, bro. Yes, which languages do you speak here in Zambia? Yes, Nyanza, Femba, Femba, Nyanza, and English. Yeah. So, if I want to say, how are you in uh, Pemba? How do you say it? Pemba? Yes. How are you? Yes. Murshani. Murshani. Yeah. Then I have to say thank you. Thank you. How do you say thank you in Pemba? Ndifia wino. Ndifia. Guys, you've heard. Those are the languages. It's just fine morning. My first time in uh, Lusaka, Zambia. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. My name is Lennox. You say hi. Yes, I'm Lennox from Kenya. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Nyanja. Nyanja. You speak Nyanja? Oh, you also speak Nyanja? Oh, I speak English. But you speak English too. <laughs> so, can you greet people in uh, Pemba? Say, how are you in Pemba? Or, or, welcome to, welcome to Zambia. In uh, Pemba. Welcome. Huh? Well, <laughs> ah, okay. Guys, the first impression is I just want to walk around, talk to these people that are friendly. You can tell. So I think I need to use the crossing. Zebra crossing is this side. Zebra crossing. It's a very beautiful country. Actually, this is the raining season. So, there are high rains that are being experienced in this place right now. Yesterday I got at around uh, 1, 2, it was raining. So, yep. Let's have a tour, man, of this town, city. If you are in Zambia, if you are my subscriber, I'm pumped into this video, yes. I'm in your country and I'm in Lusaka. And one thing I know Zambia for, they have the biggest malls, man. These people have big malls. So I need to get across. Hello? How are you? You're fine. So you're cleaning the pavements. Oh. So my name is Lennox. So I just want to say hello. This is my first time in Zambia. Oh, it's the first time in Zambia. Yes. Oh. You are from where? I'm from Kenya. You are oh. from Kenya? Yes. Okay. Oh. So I'm just touring the city. Where should I go? Yeah. Which place should I check? Oh, okay. Yes. Where do I go? Where do I go? Here. To here? Yes. Nice places. I've been to the Freedom Corner. Freedom Corner. Freedom uh, Statue. A freedom statue. Yes, where else should I go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CBD? The center? Yeah, city center? City center. Is this side? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. 
Cairo Road is this side. This side. Yeah. But city center this side. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Let me walk. Okay. That's this super warm, man. Pemba, Nyenje, and English. But they speak, most of them speak English. So it's easier to communicate actually with them. Lusaka, Zambia. A very beautiful country. And the roads in the capital city, I'm telling you, are perfect. They're very nice roads here. Very nice roads compared to... I can compare them with uh, the Rwandan roads, which were very nice roads actually, in the first place. The roads are very nice. Hello. So let's see, let's head to town. So I'm told this road, this road where I'm headed to is the city center. So I'm trying to head to the city. I want to see Lusaka for the first time. Hello, brother. How are you? I'm fine. What are you selling? What are you selling? Two and fifteen. Two? Two and fifteen. I don't know. How, what? What is that? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. This guy's fifty watch. It's not. It's seventy watch. I guess. Seventy watch. Yes. This one. Yes. Ah, okay. I won't check that. Uh, seventy watch. That's a lot of money. I know it's just it's not got better tourist. But let's walk. This is Bama Road. Bama Road. This side. Bama Road. Oh, Bama Road. Uh -huh. So you've been. Uh, this is where you've been. Uh, you've grown up and bred in Lusak. Yes. Or where are you from? Um, Mandev. Mandev. Yeah. Do you know where is Hilo Stadium? No, yes, 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 yes. How far? I want to go to Hero Stadium by the How far is it from here? Um, walking take almost one hour, 30 minutes. Uh-huh. But it is a young book. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. Guys, I'm taking you to Hero Stadium. Hero Stadium is uh, the, the stadium that was named after the Zambian team. Uh, they got involved in an air crash. In yes. Gabon, right? Yeah, yeah. In Gabon. And that stadium was named, you know, Heroes uh, Stadium to honor them. So I'll head there. But right now I'm getting to the CBD. Look at how clean it is. This is Lusaka town. And I don't see taxis in your country. Where are uh, public transport? There are very few. Everyone has a car here. <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? I'm seeing yeah, everyone has a car. Come on, let's see here. It's Yango. Yango. Yeah. That you book with the. Uh... Yes, you book with your car. So, guys, Yango is like Uber. There's no Uber here. Here, there is Yang. Four balls, nothing. Here, you use Yang. Yes, that's why. And they're more common than the uh, than the taxis. Yeah, yeah. And the what? taxis are there, so you know the taxis are so expensive. Then, yeah. Ah. So, Yango, you have to use your phone to order. Yes, you have to use your phone. So, I to catch a bus to town. I need to catch a bus from here to town, then start roaming in the center. <laughs> Hey so guys, so I took a, I took a random uh, matatu for the taxis and in the taxis I met a beautiful Zambian girl, Sonia. And my focus and uh, everything has changed now. Oh my god. Now I have uh, someone to take me around town. So Sonia, where are we headed to? Um, We're going to see some messed up stuff right here well we're not going so far uh -huh. it's just somewhere right there i'm gonna show where you where people are like the drainage so, system is so messed up it's crazy out here it's the rain <coughs> it's been raining here since when yeah. yesterday when i got here actually it was raining yeah it's been raining for like two days now two days yeah. and we have floods like this Let's imagine imagine if it rained for the whole week would you imagine if it would rain for the whole week, how messed up this place would be? 
or Man. when it has just rain everywhere is usually flooded these cars mm -hmm. are swimming in water it's like, the, <laughs> it's like the great flag in the bible the population here is a little bit yeah. up so those are just stations ah uh, where you, you pick your buses yeah to everywhere uh, around you know Lusaka. Uh, for example me who's going to mass media there's a bus going there there's a bus going to unza my school there's a bus going pretty much over kaunda square yeah 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 minutes oh if you weren't so busy you would have uh, you said you have the whole time right yes i have the whole day today yeah. to explore and tear down the stuff <laughs> Hmm. Have you uh, have you been to Mundawanga? Mundawanga, where's where's that place? Yeah, it's uh, it's somewhere you, you know, it, where you see wild animals and stuff. No, 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 I don't want to see wild animals. Why I'm not, not a tourist. I'm not a tourist. Wait, you you're not a tourist, <laughs> but you want to see the things that are exciting. But wild what? animals are never exciting to me. To you. Hungry Lion, this is one of your popular places of <laughs> you guys eat. Everywhere, really. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> so guys, the Zambian people eat at Hungry Lion. Food is affordable there? Yeah, it is. Compared to other places? Yeah, it's pretty much the, the same with KFC. There's oh, this is like KFC. Yeah. They have the same prices. Nishima is sold there. No, 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 it's just fast food, like fries, ah. fried chicken, and yeah. Guys, Nishima is Ugali. When you go to Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, we share one thing. We eat Ugali, even Zambia, but here they call it Nishima. So when I said I wanted uh, Nishima, I wanted Ugali, they told me they didn't know Ugali, <laughs> but in Nishima, same thing. So these buses, these bus terminals, anywhere you want to go, but it's not like the main one. Yeah. I'm seeing vehicles parked for long distance travels, right? Yeah. So the stations are quite a lot. <laughs> There's that one, whoa, whoa, the one, the one I showed you previously, that yeah, side, yeah. and there's another one this side. Yeah, yeah and there's the Mumbwa that goes to like rural areas. Yeah, like that goes to rural areas like uh, villages. The villages. Yeah. There's a specific place you get on a bus. Yeah. Yeah, there's a specific bus station to there. Where is this place? What is this? This, uh, this place. It looks like so big. Let's, let's go this way. Okay. My Zambian people watching, I'm in your country and I'm trying to explore this place. I've been, I've given you evidence that I'm here. Uh, the freedom, the freedom statue. So you know I'm in your country. So where do you want me to go to? Tell me in the comment section. But right now, I'm with Sonia. We just met in the in the bus. In the bus. And uh, guys, it seems I didn't have very good eyes. Can look at Sonia here. Come on. <laughs> uh, she was, she's taking me around, so it's nice. At least I was worried because every time I was asking people where I am and everything, but now I have Sonia. We can check the city together. The Zambian girl. The more I go south, the more I meet more beautiful girls. And I want to South Africa. Oh. Yeah, those are like <laughs> second-hand clothes. Uh, most of second-hand clothes are here. Yeah. How do you call this street? Uh, it's next to Lumumba. Lumumba? Yeah. Oh. So that, that place is called Sakimaki. The other side? Yeah. This is where people get their chocolate. Oh. Yeah. That's a very cheap place. Yeah. So how is the cost of living in this city? It's expensive. It's expensive. It's become expensive, yeah. Compared yeah. to how it was. I oh. mean, the dollar, right? 
excruciating in So living in Lusaka is actually expensive. It is. It is. Very and the darkness covered in the, the water. God is really force moving like a dog. They are supposed to cross. A whole street, all the way down. So you said the cost of living here is a little bit high. It's expensive. Yeah. It's very Food. expensive, not a little bit high, it's, it's extremely high. Oh my so, extremely uh, high. how do like students survive? What, like, how do most people survive? Because okay, most students they... survive through uh, student loans. Student loans? Yeah, they get allowances, like meal allowances every month. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's still barely enough to keep you going through the month, but it's something, right? So are there jobs? You know, when the cost of living is high, there must be jobs, cushion people. Ah, but jobs. how to get people? Good? No, pretty much a lot of people who have degrees, oh. uh, a lot of people who have uh, papers from school uh -huh. are sitting around. And most leaders have uh, made a lot of business people. Ah. Yeah, and then when you think about it, and most of young people, would now prefer studying businesses than going to school because they are seeing other people not being employed when they have good papers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it initiates people to start business instead of school, which is a bad thing. Not entirely, but it's making it look like school is now useless. Why go to school if you're not going to get a job? So I most people it. tend to forget about it. Guys, hungry lion a lot. <laughs> Like, like five minutes into it, you get hungry lion. This place is a big, busy place for business. I mean, people make a lot of money here. Because it's crowded, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, the best business that you can make a lot of money out of is food. Food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nishima? <laughs> yeah, that. So your meal, in a day, can you spend a day without eating Nishima? Yeah. You can. Uh, you, you personally? Yeah, yeah. Like a normal Zambian? <laughs> like a normal Zambian? Yes. The whole day without Nishim. No, 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 no. Okay. Especially if you work. No, 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 no. Fine. You will be... I went to three restaurants. I wanted anything apart from Nishim. I did not find it. Oh, yeah? There was Nishima chicken, Nishima fish, Nishima. I was like, I don't want garlic. I don't want Nishima. I want something else. Yeah. They didn't have. No. But it was on a Sunday, so... Yeah. Wow, guys, welcome to Cairo Road. I've been looking for this road for the longest time. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I've been looking for this road, Cairo Road. It's a nicely done road, and there's a Cairo roundabout. I don't know if it's down there, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Let's walk at the edge here. So there's the Central Park. Yeah. Then this is the Cairo Road. Man. Squatcher House. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. See, I'm checking you around now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I... Keep Lusaka clean. So here yeah, I think there are uh, the financial whatever institutions in this route. <laughs> uh, and gas is expensive. Guy. So if you're joining this video right now, I'm in Lusaka. I'm giving, I'm giving uh, Sonia a know, tour I'm of Lusaka town. A tour. Come on. <laughs> you didn't know even where Cairo Road is. I did know. I just don't know 
I do, I do know Cairo Road exists, and I do know this road. I just didn't know that the two were the same. So are you aware of Central Park? Yeah. Until I showed you. Did you know even there's Kwacha House here? Until I showed you. <laughs> Maybe not Kwacha House, but I did know about Central Park and Cairo Road. I just didn't know where they were. Okay, so if you're joining, <laughs> consider subscribing and liking. I'm with the Zambian girl walking around these streets of Lusaka. How do you tell people welcome to this channel in uh, your language? Mabuela Builo. Mabuela Builo. Mabuela Builo. It's more like saying you've been received with her. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. We know that good. And thank you is. Thank you, by Zikomo. Zikomo, yeah, yeah. I was told that before I left. You know. So universities are not far from the. Yeah, we actually have a lot of universities near town here. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have like even Horn. Uh, we have Zikas. We have Cavendish. Cavendish University, yeah. Zika uh -huh. University, Evelyn Horn University, okay. Eden University. Yeah. Then where you're going in Copper Belt, there's Copper Belt in this CBU. Then there's the only, the only in <laughs> University in <Zan. laughs> Ah, that must be your university. The only, uh, yeah. the only so the one of the most best university in africa it's all it's like the top three best university in the whole africa jesus christ university of zambia in, in zambia how do you have tribes that are those tribes with a lot of pride and, and a lot of guns and all that oh yeah in nigeria we have Igbo people oh in kenya we have the luo in zambia here we have tonga people tonga yeah we have the tonga bull people <laughs> there are, are, are people with the uh, Linge people people with ego bemba now you seem to be having coming from one of those. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, these are the exchange rates. Euro has become 23. Why? We are still 24. All right. Yeah, you were supposed to be 30, 32. <laughs> <laughs> you know, recently this was 28. Yeah. It was on 28. Everything, every day, those, they change. So, guys, from, uh, you can see the roots. We have the greatest, oh, you said uh, the Great East Road. That is why we, yeah. and then the Great North Road that goes direct. Then a Kala, Kalambo Road. So that from that end, that is the Great North Road. Yes, that is the most famous road, I think. You see here, witchcraft is actually published like that. There's a poster right there. For Do Do African, <laughs> African doctor. Doctor. doctor they, they, what, do, what, do, what do they treat? They'll you be know? like. <laughs> After pass there exams. Are, yeah, pass exams without studying. Like, <laughs> Ridiculous thing, like bring back lost lovers. Ah, if you are rejected, I've been single for the longest time. <laughs> like me, I need to call the number. Have money in 24 yes. hours. You know, have money in, in 24 hours. You call the number. <laughs> yeah. So we're in a junction. Yeah, so which way do we take? Oh. What is the time first? We need to go and eat Shima. There's Shima, I'll show you Shima. I've been saying it for the longest time. I'm going to show you. This is Cairo Road. This is now you're headed to Great East Road. Yeah. And that is Great North. I've never gone down this path. This one here? Yeah, like here. When I'm going this I'm telling way, you, today I'm taking you through your city. Ah, like, ah. I'm the one taking you around. <laughs> like, look at that graffiti. Oh, the bathroom dance park. Mm. I'm the one taking you around your own city. Imagine. Jesus. Oh, don't worry. I'm a cheap guide. What is that? <laughs> what? That thing over there. Oh, is it, someone relaxing? Is that someone? Of course. That person is alive, right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Joe. 
Yes, it's somebody so alive. Scared. No. We're just going across it like this because this is a route. No, we go up. No, we can go up or okay. we can use that. Yeah, I think, I think it is now. I know this it's like looks like some South African. Yeah, I remember that thing that's painted and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always look at it. I'm like, huh? A mini version of South Africa. <laughs> Guys, where I'm supposed to go? Now I see the future. <laughs> this looks like an industrial area place or something. Yeah. But businesses, industry. Exactly, exactly. Is it industrial area? Yeah, somehow. Not, not necessarily. Hey. <laughs> A bit. Eh, my guy idea is eh, I'm discovering things. There's a train here. The, the railroad train. Does that train work? Yeah, it does. Oh. It actually did that. How many did it? Do you... It's 215 way, right? Okay. Do you want the semi melted or no 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 ice? Okay. It's cold here. It's hot. Yeah. Here you go. I have not never seen Zambian coin. <laughs> it's my first time. So how how often do that does this train pass and where does it go to? So it goes to Copper Belt. Copper Belt. Yeah, but I don't know. Livingstone. Yeah, yeah. Livingston Copper Belt. Ah. So how many days a week does it pass? So you do business here. So meaning it passes here when you are here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Does it? Guys, I want to check out this tower thing. I don't know how it's called. What is the name? How do you call it? My South African people. Or Zambian people. How do you call this tower? Because it's so much, there are so many in South Africa. What the only two? When I see them, I see South Africa. But I'm also seeing them in Zambia. So is that like there's an office inside? Or what? Let's find out. It's just a hardcore actually. The what? one that provides electricity for the country. The one that provides there? Electricity for Lusaka. Oh. So this is where, so they're saying mm -hmm. you cannot enter here because it's, that's where everything goes down. Okay. Like this thing right here. Electricity. Yeah. So inside there uh -huh. is where the engineers work from. Engineers? Oh. Yeah. That's why they generate power ah, from here. this thing right here. As you can see, it's up close. I'm told electricity comes from here. This is it. Yeah, so these are not windows. Actually. They're not with I was wrong. Yeah, and <laughs> I was right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. They kind of look like windows. Big bricks. What kind of bricks are these? They're so huge. Man! Look at it, guys. Oh, no. So, electricity, I'm told something to do with electricity comes, happens oh, no. here. Hey. Hmm. So, I'm in Thorn Park Place or Estate. Some more eye bags, mass media, um. A lot of expensive places. Yeah. Men who tardly. There are places where people pay like uh, $1,500 per month. $1,005 per month for rent. Kisonga. Is it Kisonga or something? What? Where rich people live? Kisonga. What's that? That is a place. Oh, yeah? I don't know if it is Kisonga or I'm saying my own things. <laughs> I think I've seen one thing. Maybe. Yeah. You suck. Okay, again, places are expensive depending on the location. For example, if there are universities around. It becomes expensive or cheap? Yeah. Becomes, places become expensive because people are pricing depending on... Because they have students around. Oh. This place is called Matere. This is where people come here to eat. From the university or from? No, or anyway, just, just random. People, work, people who work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lunch hour, especially. Mm -hmm. okay. Especially those people who were drinking the previous night. Yeah. 
Yeah, they come here too. The boy fool. Fucking tough. I just saw a cute guy back on the tats. You know, we've been sky in Pennsylvania and Mozambique. So guys, these are some of uh, the residentials here. Yeah. So guys, stay here. You can uh, come get a house from this place and start buying, you know, buy these houses. That's why they're free and they're away from town. That's close to town, but not that far from town, as you can see. You know, a very cool place to, to chill away from town. When you get to expensive no, neighborhoods, the weather just changes, you can see, and you can tell. And I'm with Sonia back there, taking me around the city. Beautiful place, with beautiful people. I'm done. So look, this is central. It doesn't have a lot of, uh, the place here doesn't have a lot of crime. No, so. The price that they charge places here at, considering the fact, uh, the fact that there are no, a lot of uh, crime rates, it's just fine. The, the security is good. Yeah, people don't steal a lot. You don't have cases where someone was killed or anything like that. So it's um, it's 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 pretty much oh. okay. <sighs> Guys, I'm back. I know you're wondering, hey Lennox. One minute in vacancy, already have someone holding camera for you. <laughs> no, 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 guys. I'm still here. I still own my camera. <laughs>